Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today we will be talking about food strategies for the MCAT. Food is a very important consideration for the MCAT exam because it is a fairly long ordeal and you will need proper nutrition in order to perform well on the exam. I'm sure you already have an idea about what types of foods help to give you energy when you're writing an exam. And you can experiment over several days with different foods, snacks, and drinks to, to find the optimal combinations to help keep your energy high throughout the test. In the last video, I talked about practicing your routine to get it down the week beforehand. And food is another consideration. And try and eat the same foods at the same times in order to properly experiment and to find what works for you. I know if you have butterflies and you are anxious that one of the last things you feel like doing is eating, but make sure you force yourself to have at least some food because you will need that energy to write the exam. The night beforehand, try not to eat anything exotic, especially if you have a sensitive stomach. The last thing you want to do is eat something that disagrees with you and then be sick for when you write the MCAT. If possible, try to eat a meal that contains a lot of carbohydrates close to the time you are going to go to bed. This serves two purposes. The first is to help make sure that your liver's glycogen stores are stocked up and ready to go to provide you with energy. The second purpose is to help you get to sleep because once you eat, blood is diverted to your stomach and you start to feel a little bit more sleepy. The most important meal, obviously, is breakfast. Make sure you don't skip it or you will find yourself uh, lacking in concentration during the exam. Uh, what people recommend is usually having a breakfast that has more carbohydrates and proteins in it to help fuel you for the day. Other, other nutritious foods such as bananas, oatmeal, and smoothies are also great. Just make sure that you have a great breakfast and that will start you off on the right foot for the day. Also, try not to eat anything that is too fatty or greasy because it will make you feel heavy for the rest of the day and make you feel sluggish. So the next step is to decide what snacks or drinks you are going to be having during the exam. You have the 10 minute breaks in between sections and you can use that time to re refill your energy. Uh, so try and experiment with this and find snacks and drinks that provide you with a steady uh, supply of energy rather than a spike of energy. Usually you probably won't have time for a full meal so just eat snacks and that should provide you with enough energy to get through your exam. Also try to avoid sugary snacks because they will give you a sugar spike but then you will f likely feel worse later on. Again if you're eating anything don't eat anything too heavy or fatty because it will make you sluggish and take away from your concentration. Healthy snacks like trail mix and fruit are always good choices. The products that I like are the products that are designed for endurance athletes because they are designed to give a steady supply of energy. Things like power bars and power gels and other products that are targeted at endurance athletes can help to provide you with energy for the couple hours that you are writing the exam. If you have a fear of needing to go to the washroom to pee during the exam, especially if you drink coffee because the caffeine is a diuretic, you can have a salty snack and the sodium in the salty snack will help to keep you from needing to urinate during the, uh, in, during the exam. When it comes to caffeine, if you are not a regular caffeine user, try to refrain from it because the MCAT is not the place to start experimenting. People who are not used to writing uh, exams uh, with caffeine in their systems can often find it unpleasant. Obviously, if you are going to have any caffeine, make sure you don't have too much because it will make you jittery and make your heart race during the exam. I personally am a coffee drinker and during the 10 minutes obviously it's difficult for you to get any coffee so I recommend caffeinated chocolate products which are a no fuss way to get the caffeine if you need it. 
I personally I personally use uh, a product called Kick Butt Amped Energy Balls, which I get from the GNC store, and they are great for providing uh, that boost that I need. And the energy is pretty smooth, and there are less spikes. Of course, after the exam, make sure you treat yourself to something special. That's all for this video. Uh, food is a very important consideration when it comes to the MCAT because the MCAT is longer than most exams that you've probably written and you will need a steady supply of energy in order to do your best. Requests and ideas for future videos are always welcome. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, please also leave those in the comment section below. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.